like this over five three-minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules. So there you have it. And tonight, he's fighting for the Commonwealth title, trying to take it from the champion, Paolo De Silva. So let's have a quick rundown once again as they go to touch gloves. Blue corner, Dave Edwards, 34 years of age, 35 fights, 20 wins, five by KO, 12 losses and three draws. 34 years of age, as I said, the champion from the red corner, Paolo De Silva, 22 years of age, 10 fights, seven wins and three losses. And you notice there that Dave Edwards is a so far so whether this is going to cause uh, mr silver some trouble or not we'll wait and see yes lively start by both these men getting into the rhythm probably the lightest men you'll see in the uk too at 52k this tends to be the women's division i said women's i mean you know a lot of the, the women fight in this division at the uh, flyweight and uh, bantamweight divisions so it's rare to see men at this uh, at this weight and it's good because obviously with it being small and light, you're very fast, Malcolm. As we'll That's right, here. very mobile as well, Sandy. Good fast start. Nice little short left there from Paolo, found its range. Yeah, that's right, and Dave just acknowledged that, just nodded. He's been in here many times, so it's, uh, to say it's almost a playground for him. He's had a lot of experience. So he is worthy of this, um, you know, to, to contend for this title. You think it'd be the other way around with his experience. Um, that's right, Sandy. Yeah. But yeah, um, Paolo, seven wins from his ten contests. 12 years younger than his opponent. But looking at the shape of um, Dave Edwards, he's in, you know, as we've seen with a lot of fighters, Malcolm, the older fighters seem to be better conditioned sometimes. Um, you know, they, they look after themselves in this sport. You notice that. You know, they've got a longevity that uh, seems to surpass many sports. Yes, I think you must get old. Paolo thinks yeah. he, he took one to the groin yes, there from Dave Edwards. I think it's accidental, I think. Um, yeah. It always, I mean, rare you'll get a groin kick. I mean, they do wear groin guards, obviously, in this sport. Um, groin protectors. I don't think that was intended. We'll take time out. And obviously, a, a crowd pleaser for the referee as he has yeah. to uh, reposition the groin guard. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think I'd like to do that job. No, no, I don't know if no Paolo really to. enjoyed Paolo it Paolo's a good looking guy, but I'm, <laughs> that's not my, uh, not my cup of tea, I'm sorry. I don't think Paolo enjoyed it either there, really, Sandy. You know. But as you said, I think the older guys, as you said, they, they realise that to compete, they've got to stay in shape. And they've got to look after themselves. Good and a barrage. good little flurry there yes. from Dave Edwards. Excellent, yes, David did. He uh, put a nice little combination together. He looks very fired up for the fight, too. It's, well, in fact, it's the best I've ever seen him, actually. Start this, he normally starts slowly, Dave, traditionally, from what I've seen of him. But tonight, he's, uh, he looks very much up for this, and it's, uh, it's pleasing to see. Yes, he moves nicely. He moves out of range nicely. And really, probably that's the only difference between the two in this first round. Would you say, Sandy, that he's probably found his range quicker than Paolo? Yes, he has. And I said probably that's where the wealth of experience has come in. He's moving around the ring nice. He's got good footwork. Switching a stance sometimes, too. And, um, yeah, I think Paolo, you know, Paolo is one of those. He's an, he's, he is the champion. So, you know, he, he's, he's been in this uh, situation before. And he'll, he'll start to measure Dave as the rounds go on. Yes, this is the first of five three-minute rounds, remember. A very lively opening from two very lively young men. Referee finally deciding to split them as the knees stop coming in. Paolo found his range there nicely and ended with a very sweet left hook. Good exchange again. And as you said, Sandy, with the lighter weights, it's the speed, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's what, you know, people like the big heavyweights, but, they, you know, obviously the speed sort of lacks a little bit for size. And then you get the smaller weights, obviously, the what they make, what they're losing power. They're and just towards the end of the round, though, Paolo started to step in closer and, and ended with a nice flurry. That's right. Yes, he's got very there. nice movement. He has. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. As I've watched Dave fight quite a few times, and uh, what I've, I know it's only, you know, it's only the first round, but what I've seen so far, and he's there up off his stool well before the time's uh, given, and uh, he looks like he's up for it tonight. So, you know, fair play to him. Maybe he knows it's the twilight of his career, and he's, he's trying to go out on a big one. That's right. So five three-minute rounds. We've had one down. We have the challenger on our unofficial scorecards, remember? One round ahead. With the defending champion just beginning to show at the end of the round. Well, both fighters very eager to start. They get a minute and a half rest. It looks like these two only wanted a minute. So <laughs> very keen to get going. So here we go. Two of five for the Commonwealth title. The champion Paolo de Silva, the challenger Dave Edwards. 
And again, a nice, lively start. Good exchange there, and I felt Paolo just got slightly the better of that one. But yes, but Dave's not taking any, not taking that. He's gone straight back into his. Yes, very, very sharp well. there, Sandy. Yes, these two fighters are taking each other very seriously. You can tell with the concentration on the faces. They both know what they're in there for, and there's not just a fight at stake here, but there's a championship too. That's that right. Sort of, uh, that ups the stakes. Very tidy opening. Nice and fast, but good crisp technique as well. Very lively. And Paolo stalking his man now. And although it's full Muay Thai rules, we haven't really seen the elbows come into great play in this fight, Sandy. Right now, they've, um, they've been quite content to use the hands and legs, which, you know, some fighters do. You know, you get some fights which concentrate, like, we, you know, we have seen other fighters where they use a lot of elbows and knees. Fight, but oh, oh, good little yeah. short left there it was, yes. Sandy from yeah, Paolo. He, yes, he took um, Dave caught him with a punch and then he caught him back with a, with, a, with a, even a tidier one, but more accurate. Yeah, it's uh, three in a row that time again. It's mm. the left hand that's doing the damage. Yeah, Mr. Silver seems to have found his uh, his range a bit better now in this round. There, she's coming over Ooh. that southpaw right hand, Sandy, and causing all sorts of trouble. I'm seeing there from one of his other disciplines there, they're doing one of the spinning kicks as I mentioned before, some of these fighters will do, and it's good to see. Not just sticking to the basics. Good low kick from And the first Dave knees there from Paolo, Paolo as well, Sandy. Yes. I think Dave felt that. And an elbow as well. You just mentioned before, as we said it, they started to happen. Yes, a lively, lively second round. And a lot better second round from the champion as well. Trying those little elbows to the head, but obviously they're very close and difficult to throw from there. But just keep touching away there. At least it's a work rate and, and it does score. Good knee again there. Paolo just catching him with the knees, working there into the body. They're holding him tight, but not doing much in the clinch. No, it's been a far better round for Paolo this round, hasn't it, Sandy? He's used the elbow, he's used the knee, and got the better of the punching exchanges, which was. Dave Edwards' strength probably in the first round. Yes, that's it. Obviously, Dave, as I mentioned, he has had a lot of kickboxing fights, and that's why his hands and legs are good. Um, and he uses them to uh, full advantage. But when it gets in a little bit closer, I think that's where Paolo's finding a little bit of home territory there. I think he's finding himself uh, catching David with the knees and the odd elbow, which, you know, as we know in more full Muay Thai rules, which uh, usually pays dividends. That's right. And when it comes to the punching as well, he's constantly coming over that South Pole lead right hand to the side of Dave Edwards' face. And a much bigger of brand for I'm gonna go with Paolo on that round, Sandy. Yes. Again, it's the greater as you said, it's the greater range of ability here, and he's countering nicely now. And using that left hand to great effect over the top, but also, as we mentioned earlier, he's using the low kicks, he's working the shins of Edwards. He brought the knees in in the clinches. I just feel in the full Muay Thai rules, he, he's giving us a better demonstration than Mr. Edwards. Excellent first two rounds, very technical fight, but we just feel that in that second round. That Paolo de Silva started to show his range of skills. It'd be nice to see how Dave comes back from this, Sandy. Yes, so we've got one round apiece, so it's all evens on our unofficial scorecards. And you at home can, uh, as Malcolm always says, you know, make your own judgments and you know try judging these fights yourself and see how you score them. It's, uh, it adds a bit of interest to the sport for yourself. Well, I like the matchmaking again from what Bill Judd's done and Ali Jacko here. Good to see fighters at the same weight. And okay, there's a slight difference in experience, but there's an age difference, so it balances things up nicely. And it makes what makes a good fight. This is part of being a good promoter. So many a time in the past we've seen mismatches, which is not good for anybody's sport, including ours. That's right, Sandy. And as we said here, Paolo just seems far more comfortable using the knees than Dave. Dave almost had to be spurred into it. He's looking to take his man down to the floor which means then that they're split, whereas Paolo was just really happy to work. And it was almost like an afterthought by Dave saying, oh, well, we're not going to get split, i better try and use them. That's right. But he's there, Dave, again, as usual. He's keeping busy all the time, and he's got a, a nice little forward movement all the time. He's not backing off. He's, you know, this is not being, even though he knows he's going to get into a clinch, he's still coming forward, and he's ready to accept it. And he's just holding on. Like you said, he is limited in the clinch, which I think is kickboxing years of probably... You know, not doing him any favours in this particular uh, fight, but, um, you know, outside of that, medium and long range, he's doing quite well. Yes, yes, Paolo making best advantage in the clinches, but as you say, Sandy, 
when they're in the middle of the ring like this, it's very even in the exchanges. But there's the knees, got a good guard against those knees, but takes the left hand over the right again. He stopped those knees getting through, but had to take a punch for his troubles. Again, three beautiful punches, all found the target this time. And it seems to me that Paolo's warming up, he's found his range, and he's very accurate. Yes, good knee, got it just underneath the chin there, with that knee, but takes a good punch, and hits back with another two good ones. Yes. Three. Oh, and a oh. brilliant uppercut there, and Dave Edwards in all sorts of trouble there. He exploded into life, Sandy, and it was so accurate as well. Excellent combination, Malcolm. Yes, he, you know, it took him around to warm up, but that, that first round's done him a lot of good because he's measured Dave now. But the other thing I'd like to pick you up on, you were talking about disguise. He knew those knees were going to be blocked, but it did the job. It brought Dave Edwards' guard down, and suddenly he took three and four punches to the face. That's right. Speaking of to the face, he's just caught him with the knee in the face there, too. He's cut by the left eye. The corner That's of the, the left knee. eye is cut. That, that was the knee there, then. It's just in front of our commentary box. I just saw it just slip up there from the side of the side of his guard. But he's got it there. He keeps having a goal. And that's probably his experience there that's, that's talking him through this fight. The doctor wants to, he'll want the doctor to see. No, he just wants to clean that up for a second. I think it's, is that the bell or is that the end, oh, it's the end of the round? End of the round. From these two. And a nice respectful touch of the gloves. That's, that's the thing about this sport. There's a lot of respect involved. And it's been a good fight. It, it's, it's been a clean fight. Four or five. The pace has been nice and steady. Um, well, better than steady. A very good pace. Yes, and they managed to stem the flow of blood as well. It was just a little nick. They've obviously got it. They've staunched the blood. They've got some Vaseline on it. It's sealed up, and it's all right. Just hope it doesn't open up again in this round. But straight into the clinch. And this is, for the untrained eye, this is very, a very tiring part of Muay Thai. You try wrestling with somebody and try to throw somebody on the floor or just wrestle with them. You know how tiring it feels. And to get hit while you're being held as well, like with these are the knees that you're seeing now, takes so much out of you. To That's be hit right. And hitting. As you said before, though, Sandy, um, Dave is more than adequate in the exchanges and very game, but what a little wink there to Alan Kettle in his corner. <laughs> but what happens is, as he comes in with those punches, Paolo is also thinking about the knees and the feet, isn't he? He's, yes. just got, he's just thinking about those extra little things. And a good left there rocked Dave Edwards. He acknowledges, but it's a good left hand. And Dave's gone a little bit ragged, ragged in this round now. I don't know what it's the thought of that cut. And the fact that he can't be, can be caught with knees and stuff, because that's it, he's probably thinking not to get involved with a clinch, which if I was uh, in his corner, I'd be telling him to do that. Get yes. back to kicking and punching and moving like it, uh, he was in the first round. Very stylish. That's but, right. Uh, he's, he's bleeding slightly from the nose as well, Sandy. And the, the, the difference between the two now is when they go into those punch combinations, it's Paolo that's showing the style and throwing the little clusters. And I think, as we saw Dave rock back there twice, I think he can hurt Dave as well, which he must be conscious of. And there's the knees. Yeah, he's going to go to the head again, I would imagine, because obviously to the body, he's blocking those with the forearms and the elbows. There you go. As yeah. soon as you said that, Sandy, yeah. the head, the, the elbow came perfectly up to the side of the head. That's the strategy part. You go downstairs, you go upstairs. Upstairs, you go back downstairs. And if something doesn't work, you've got to find another avenue, and he just did. And importantly, it was to the same eye. So, he, you know, it's incredible to see how Paolo's thinking in there. He knew it was cut. He went for it again. Yeah, considering he's only had 10, well, I say only 10, 10, you know, it's a, it's a good... Is that the body, or... At my angle, I couldn't see that. I don't, think, I don't I think he's complaining of a groin attack. I think it was the body. At first, I thought Dave was going to complain that it was a low shot, but then he didn't, and it's all over. Oh, it's it all over to the body. It was the body, yeah. Here we have it. Get the reaction. Yeah, he was starting to get a little bit... Oh, yes. Pure to That's the body, it. Sandy. Yeah, Clean to the body. Him, yeah, winded him completely. And he knew he took that shot and he went straight down to his knees. Your winner and still champion of the Commonwealth, Paolo!